Good morning, guys. I look like an Olympic swimmer. Please don't mind my shower cap. Um, it is now four something in the morning on April 11th, 2023. My surgery day. Yay. Um, and I'm gathering myself to um, hopefully go to the hospital soon. Um, I tried to use the bathroom again and I think I'm done. I think it's it. That's it, you know. Um, last night, I ended the night by pushing out like watery stool with like a yellow consistency. Um, I only really used the bathroom like around five something like after I took my first um, good portion of the um, solution or of the stool prep mix or whatever. Um, and then after that, it's been waterfalls coming out of my back end. Um, and now it's literally just a watery yellow liquid. So I think I'm good. I think all of the solid stool, the solid poop is out of my system. And that's what they wanted. So that's all said. Um, I have started gathering my things on the bed. Um, and a, what else did I do? I brushed my teeth and now I'm about to shower and then use the specific surgery soap, um, so that I can get dressed and hopefully pack the rest of my stuff up and head to the hospital. I will keep you guys posted on the rest. Bye. Finally here, ready for surgery. Do this thing. I am finally on my bed, prepared in my surgical gown, waiting for the nurse to get me ready and prepped for surgery. Yeah, we'll meet her soon. Hi guys, I've been in recovery for a minute now. They gave me an ice pop because my throat is killing me. I don't know what is all over my face. My mouth is all red. I'll try. I don't know if I'll be able to see one for the Very cheery. It is now four or something in the afternoon. And surgery is done. They said everything looks great. I'm waiting to be moved into a floor, admitted to the floor. And I need to call my mom because she called me twice, so she's going to be very upset. <laughs> no, we never have to. Hi guys. I'm finally in my room. Um my friends Aaron and Jen came to see me. I've spoken to two other best friends, Corey and Pat. I've spoken to my mom twice. I feel pretty good right now. Nope, I'm, I don't feel any pain. They still have me on an, anesthesia. Um, I've seen so many nurses and so many anesthesiologists and both my surgeons. Uh, I didn't get to vlog everything in the OR, obviously, because they want that to be clean. Um, so I didn't get to get any footage of any of that. Um, but you guys will see like the recovery process and my stay at the hospital. Um, so far I've eaten two very cherry ice pops to help with my throat because the oxygen, because the oxygen tube 
the breathing tube really like scratched me up or something. I don't know, my throat hurts like a mother. Um, so I had that to help with my throat. I've had ice cream with a dark chocolate Reese's cup in it. I I have water with ice. And I also had um, tomato soup, which is all gone, they threw it away. Um, and this plate with like rice, vegetables and chicken. Um, so I had something to eat, thank goodness, because I was literally starving. Last time I ate was Sunday. Yesterday I had to fucking fast for this surgery. But finally, I am where I wanted to be in the bed. Surgery's done and recovering. Um, I saw one of my surgeons Ricardo Munares, and he said everything came out good. Um, I saw one of the other anesthesiologists and he said everything looks good, um, no complications so far, and they didn't have to do a skin graft for anything, thank the Lord. And now I'm just here chilling in my room. It is 6.30 or 7.30 at night right now. Um, yeah, here's to recovering. Now I just have to recover and get better. I will keep you guys posted. Guys, it is now 12.15 at night in the morning. Um, and yeah, I've had plenty of things done. I've had my vitals taken plenty of times. I've had my IV changed. I've had my um, epidural medicine bag changed as well. Um, they've brought me extra water. They've checked my back where the um, epidural IV is located. And they also changed the epidural medicine. So both are full. Um, and now I'm getting sleepy, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, my throat's still feeling sore. Um, yeah, I hope tomorrow I'm feeling a little better. And I can't wait to eat tomorrow again because I want to be fit. And I will show you visitors tomorrow. Whoever visits me, I will show you. Good morning, guys. It is April 12th, Wednesday, April 12th, 2023. My second day in the hospital. It is now 7.10 in the morning. I didn't really sleep that great because the heat was on blast and I was very itchy. Because of probably the surgical scrub um, yeah, I've had my IV bag changed again, um, and I don't know if they changed the epidural bag again, I forget, but my nurse has been very helpful. I've had my pee bag drained, I've had my um, surgical drains drained multiple times. Um, I was giving extra water with ice. She also brought me, um, two ice pops to help with my throat. My throat is feeling a little better today. Um, and also three guys from the anesthesia team came in not too long ago to change my dressing. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. I'm like sleepy now, so I might go to sleep. I've been sending everybody my address and my location so that they can come and visit. So maybe I'll have some visitors today, who knows. 
And yeah, just checking in with you guys and updating you guys. Hi, everyone. I finally um, am eating some kind of a breakfast. They brought me up some food. I'm happy that I'm eating. When you fast, it's no fun. No fun at all. This is the food. Hopefully this food makes me more tired and I can sleep for a couple more hours because I'm kind of out of it. E.G. found home. <clears throat> I really hope that you guys enjoy this vlog, this surgery journey. Um, I know it might not be as entertaining as other people, but this is definitely something that I promised to myself that I would share on the, on the tube, on YouTube. Because I wanted younger trans folk to have something to refer to and something to watch, something to give them hope that one day this could be them. It's perfect, it's fine. And the fact that it's hot is helping with my throat. That breathing tube, I think was like the worst thing the worst of it all. I've seen plenty of blood and I've seen pee. They've drained a lot of that, but the breathing tube has been the worst. I have felt some pain too. Nothing compared to the what the breathing tube did to my throat. Please pardon my appearance. I look crazy. I have acne marks. My brow is looking very light on the side and horrible and they're not done. I have an appointment to get them microbladed and shaded in and ombre but that's in June. So my brows are gonna look very insane until then. Thank you guys for bearing with me. And I love you guys for watching, if you've gotten this far. Um, obviously, I have way more to show. And hopefully, I have some visitors today so you guys get to see some people. This is me. I did my hair so that I wouldn't look crazy. And my bags look so red. My dry bags, oh my god. I need to get some sleep. Wow. These are the machines. That's the epidural up there. These are the other machines. This is what my room's looking like behind me. Um, let me show you what the other side looks like. This is what the other side looks like. That's the board. My room. And that's the other side. And then there is a bathroom on that wall on the right. Um, and a shower and stuff. Hey, y'all. Please don't mind that my mouth is blue. I had an ice pop to further help with my throat. It is now 6.37 at night. Um, yeah, today has been very eventful. I almost had multiple meltdowns today due to the air in here, the heat, and the AC not working and them not coming whenever I called them and not being able to sleep, being sleep deprived. But we got through it. We finally got through it. I feel much better. 
I was giving ice packs. Um, I don't know why that's beeping now. I think something's running out. Um, I was given ice packs. I was giving them more ice water and um, a little fan, which you see here is helping. They finally got the air to work a little bit, but it's not really blowing how it should be blowing. This is a ghetto personal room. I don't know why. Um, yeah, they were gonna try to move me to a different room to see if the air worked better somewhere else, but all the personal rooms, all the private rooms are um, taken and I don't want to move into um, a room where I would have to share a space just because I don't want somebody waking me up and annoying me. And the nurses don't want that for me either because of the type of surgery I have and because I need to rest. Um, so yeah, I had two visitors today, um, which was my younger sister, Ada, and um, one of my good friends for many years, uh, Sukhtir. That was really nice. I got to sit here and eat some dinner with them. I had a sandwich and some tomato soup and some fruit. That was really nice. Um, they also purchased flowers for me. Um, yeah, these are them right here. You can't really see them because it's dark in the room. They got balloons, there's a teddy bear over there. These ones were first from Saktir. Um, the orange, orange, red ones were from my sister Ada. And then the ones in the vase or the vase are from Lori, my ex coworker from Fenway Health. Um, thank you girls, I love you. My beautiful girls got me beautiful flowers. And yeah, we're just pushing through the day. Day two is almost done. Yeah. And I'm just checking in with you guys. I'm about to take a little nap before the girls come back in here to change the epidural bag and do vitals again and do whatever else they need to do. All right. Hi guys, I just wanted to show you what my area is looking like right now. As you can see, you can see my drains. They're right here. There's one on both sides. There's one on both sides. And there's a pee drain and certain, I don't know what else is going on over here, a calf, the catheter and my dressing and everything. Everything's still very swollen. Um, it's only the second day um, and that's what everything's looking like good morning guys it is now 6 a.m thursday april 13th 2023 i'm doing good i don't feel any pain i just feel a little soreness which is normal um, still like wicked itchy. I don't know if it's from the surgical scrub or from the heparin shots that they've been giving me on my stomach or from the epidural. I don't know what it's from, but I've been scratching like a motherfucker for a while. And this thing is beeping again, Jesus Christ. Um, they're gonna have to get somebody to take care of that. Either way, I slept a lot more last night. Like I kept falling asleep and taking little naps cause they kept, you know, they keep walking in here and doing vitals and checking blood pressure and checking oxygen and replacing the epidural bag um, and draining the pee and draining the um, blood drains and checking on the epidural um, IV site, making sure it doesn't look infected or anything like that. 
making sure I can feel in certain areas. So, yeah, I was up ever so often last night. Um, and, yeah, I will keep you guys posted on what else happens. I'm supposed to be very active today. They're supposed to be removing the epidural. And I'm supposed to walk, and hopefully I'll have a bowel movement and have some visitors today. I will show you guys all of that. Stay tuned. Good morning, guys. So, quick update. I have had the epidural taken out, stopped completely. They took all that horrible tape out of my back. So, I feel a lot more comfortable. They just put a band-aid back there. Um, they changed my dressing. They emptied out my pee. Um, now I have some breakfast here that they brought. And um, they gave me some oxycodone, 10 milligram to take for now. And some, I forgot what it's called, but it's to use the bathroom, to be able to use the bathroom. So, um, yeah, hopefully that goes well. I'm going to eat my breakfast and then in a little bit, they're probably going to have me try to walk like a small hallway. So hopefully um, this oxy kicks in and hopefully it doesn't knock me the fuck out. Hopefully. Um... I got a male nurse this time. His name is Jim. I can already tell that he's amazing. I love him already. Um, I feel safe walking with him. I didn't know how safe I felt walking with the females because I didn't know if they were going to be able to hold me just in case I fell or something. Um, or I slipped or I felt weak or whatever. So ho hopefully everything goes good. I'm nervous to walk. I don't know how that's gonna go. Hopefully I've regained enough strength in my legs because they were numb. Um, the epidural had my legs in my midsection very numb. So it's it's felt like, it has felt like I cannot move um, from the midsection. Um, so hopefully everything goes well. Prayers up. Come a little bit more forward. I don't know how that's gonna be on my private area. I don't know if I should be sitting on it like that, but hopefully that's okay. Can't wait till all of this comes out, this IV. And then this. Yep. And I got a fresh big thing of water. This is what I'm looking like. A hot mess, but we're getting through it. Getting through it. Today is the second to last day. Hopefully, everything's looking good so far. My blood is um, testing good. My pee is looking good. I'm draining good. People have been so nice on social media. I have disclosed to some people privately through messages what I've had. And to other people, they just know that I've had surgery. They don't know specifically what I've had done. Um, but overall, the response has, has been very nice and very caring and very loving from everybody. I'm so happy I got a pink cake. I wasn't expecting them to give me one. I have no clue who's coming today, but I think multiple people want to come and see me. They're probably going to be like, why do you have all these people in your room? I don't know. They wanted to come and see me. I am very loved. Who knows? Oh my god. Hey. There's no Look at my visitors today. I got oh, Mop. I got Moppy Mop. <laughs> that he's the uh, Trey wants it ass. And we have Big Mom over there. <laughs> Come on, girl, reach me, reach me, reach me, reach me, reach me, reach me. Get up on gay, sexy bitch. You just go for it, girl. You work it out. You're fierce. You're the bomb. You're the gayest, most beautiful thing I've ever, ever seen. Hi. 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 Look at who came to visit me. 
You can get saliva on that before I do. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Popo. Hi, Mommy, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Okay, say hi. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi, Mom. Say hi. Hello. Hi, guys. Don't mind me. I took a little bit of a nap after, or maybe a lot of bit of a nap after my family left. Um, so today, today was an eventful day. I walked four times in total, back and forth, twice each time, along, down, up and down a long hallway. Um, the first time I stayed standing for a, for a long period of time, um, I was just kind of rearranging my room, setting up like my flowers, um, setting up the chairs where I wanted them to be because I knew my mom was coming and um, Aaron and Jen were coming again today and uh, because I knew um, that Corey and Teresa were going to show up as well. Um, that was so weird because I stayed, I stayed standing up that whole time and I even... Um, brushed my teeth and washed my face and did a little bit of a skincare one, two, three. Um, and then my nurse comes in, Jim comes in um, an hour later and says, oh, it's time to walk again. And I literally did not even get a chance to lie down. I literally had to go right back to walking down the hallway again. So I, I like powered through these walks. So I'm doing really good. Only thing is, um, I have not been able to use the bathroom. Unless it's willing to just come out easily and drop easily, I should not be pushing, right? Because I um, cannot push and ruin anything that they did down there, right? They, there's a lot of packing, there's a lot of stitching. I cannot afford to ruin anything down there because then it's going to cost me to have another surgery and we don't want that. So the goal is hopefully tomorrow before I leave, hopefully I have a bowel movement. If not, hopefully it happens at home soon sometime because I feel my stomach full and I feel my bowels full. I've been eating since I woke up from surgery on Tuesday. Um... So yeah, no, soon it's gonna be time to go. So literally I took the first set of Oxy pills right after they removed the epidural. And then I took the second set of Oxy pills um, at like 6 p.m. because I could not stand the pain and the soreness from walking around and getting up and getting back on the bed and getting up and getting back on the bed these two tubes that are connected to the underside of my cheeks and going down the sides of my legs that are filled with blood are painful. Um, so yeah, it's been helping. He also gave me Tylenol with the second set of Oxy. I'm very, very, very frightened and very scared to have the um, blood drains taken out because those are look those look kind of thick from what I saw in the mirror in the bathroom, and um, I think they're gonna hurt. They don't numb you at all. By the way, today obviously my mom, Aaron and Jen came. Aaron was nice enough to go pick up my mom after my mom got out of work and bring her here. So that was really nice. I got to see my mom and she sat right here and, you know, we chatted, we laughed and we spoke about a, a bunch of things. And um, yeah, Corey and Teresa were here with Mab Mab. Mab Mab is her son, her, 
her little, little tiny son that she had last year that's not even one yet. It's just so adorable and so cute and I just want to eat him. And he like literally made a surprise appearance here at the hospital and it just made my day. I don't know what it is about that little boy, but I just love him so much. Um, for the girls that want to have this done, it's, it's no walk in the park. It's tough, and you got to be a tough bitch to get through it. Um, and, yeah, I'm just going to go about my night. I called my nurse, like, an hour ago, and she still hasn't gotten here. I'm not sure what's going on. Hopefully, she comes by. I need my leg compression boots put back on to avoid blood clots because I'm no longer getting up and walking for the day. I've had enough. I've had enough. Hopefully, I can record myself walking a little bit for you guys too. Um, who knows? We'll see. But I just wanted to wish you guys a good night and I will see you guys bright and early on discharge day tomorrow. Hi guys. I'm trying, I'm walking, I love walking. I didn't feel myself walking yesterday. Um, I literally walked four times in total yesterday, and I walked once this morning. And at 5 a.m., I was an early bird because they had a lot of noise, and my butt was ready to get up off that bed because sitting for too long is too much. My butt is tired of laying there. They took the tubes out, the blood tubes, um, the draining tubes, morning one was okay the other one hurt like a motherfucker it hurt so bad um i tried to poop after it because i felt some like this is tmi probably but i felt like a fart come out and then maybe like wetness come out so i thought i pooped on myself um a little bowel did come out Turns out, because I went into the bathroom and I set myself up, I covered the toilet, I disinfected it first, covered it with paper towel. If I have open wounds, I don't want to spit on the toilet and get an infection. Um, I sat on the toilet and I tried to shit and nothing came out, but I did wipe myself and I did have like, um, like diarrhea on me. I know that's too much information but that's just what's happening that's what's happening you know you can't control your body when you go through something like this um i had a bunch of gauze and packing back here and and some of it got like dirty so i had to throw the whole thing out and just put gauze um in the little holes where the tubes were i think i'm about to go for, up for another walk um i'm setting my stuff up to leave they gave me my medication for discharge already. They gave me my discharge instruction. Um, one of my surgeons, Ricardo Menares, um, the urologist, he, he came in here he spoke to me and um, he wished me luck. He said, I'm doing good, everything looks good and that he'll see me on Monday so that they can take this bad boy out you can't see it. This bad boy, I'm not supposed to lift it too high. They're also going to take out the packing that's within my body. They put packing in the vaginal canal. They just like put it in there and then they put gauze over it and then they stitched it onto my skin. That way it's not able to come out. Um, I'm praying that I don't have any infection, any complications or anything um, when they go to do that on Monday. They're also gonna show me how to dilate, and I have my dilators in my bag. I finally met Pamela Klein yesterday. My father, Jason, is coming to see me. Daddy Jason, um, he's like a father figure, and he's been in my life for a long time, since before I transitioned, um, so it means a lot that he's coming. I made sure to let him know I was having the surgery and he's coming. I'm not sure if he's coming with his wife, but I hope he does because I love Sherry so much. Um, 
And then Aaron is coming as well with one of my other close um, family members, Pat, um, and they're gonna help me go home. A bunch of this stuff, but you can see now a little bit better. Um, rolling, rolling dirty with the pee bag. You can see where they put the stuff for surgery. This is my mesh panties and my hospital gown. And I can also show you guys my room now that I'm able to stand up. Last little view of my room. Don't mind it. They brought me uh, breakfast, but I haven't touched it yet because I'm just so um, stuffed with pressure. I have a lot of pressure because um, I haven't used the bathroom, so I don't really want to eat. My flowers are still sitting there. They look fucking gorgeous, beautiful. Um, and yeah, I'm waiting on my visitors. Thank you, God, for this moment. <laughs> this has been hard, but I've gotten through. You've gotten me through. This has been so hard. Such a long journey from 18 to 30. And now I'm finally here. Okay. Oh, I need to calm down before I bust the stitch. Oh. Oh. Y'all, I'm so happy my mom got to come yesterday. It meant the world to me that she was so supportive. And she came because she has had the best track record for being supportive with me because of, you know, just me being different. Obviously over the years, like in the beginning, it was rough. But over the years, she's gotten better. And it just means the world that she came and saw me. She could tell I was in pain, but she said, you know, you wanted this, so you have to endure it. You have to be strong. And so I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be strong. Because I know I'm strong. She didn't raise a weak child. And God made me strong too. This sun feels phenomenal. Wow. Wow. Oh, I love my cold hospital room, but I can't wait to feel the sun on me when we get outside. It's probably hot as hell though, hot as balls outside. I'm not ready for that. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna go on my walk now. And hopefully I'll talk to you guys soon. I made it all the way to the windows, you guys. Again, this is my second walk of the day. 
in all the way to the windows. And you have a beautiful little city view of outside of Boston Medical Center. That's obviously where you arrive. The Menino building's down here. Yaki is over there. Finally home with the hose. Hi. Hi. Hi.